a $13,500 car that lasts 2 million miles with zero major repairs? Tesla just made it real. The Model 2 is finally here, and the numbers are insane. Aluminum ion batteries surviving 10,000 charge cycles, a 50,000 ton gigapress fusing the entire chassis into one solid piece, and AI sensors checking every millimeter before it leaves the factory. This isn't just another EV, it's a car literally engineered to outlast everything you own. But here's what nobody's talking about. If this works, what happens to the entire repair industry? Let's dive right in. So let me show you exactly why the repair industry should be nervous. Inside Tesla's production facility, every Model 2 passes through a line monitored by 1,800 sensors tracking everything in real time. Torque measurements on individual screws, millimeter precise panel placement, temperature variations during assembly. The moment anything deviates from spec, the entire line stops. No exceptions, no compromises. This level of obsession fundamentally changes what it means to build a car at scale. Traditional automotive manufacturing operates on acceptable defect rates. The industry literally calculates how many problems are normal and builds that into their business model. Tesla flipped that logic completely. They're not managing defects, they're architecting them out of existence before the car even exists. That's not an improvement, that's a philosophical shift. Take something as seemingly minor as panel gaps. Traditional vehicles tolerate up to 2.5 millimeters of variance. The Model 2 maintains 0 to 0 0.6 millimeters using Vision AI systems that measure every angle in real time. Those precise tolerances prevent the progressive issues that slowly destroy vehicle interiors. Water doesn't find entry points. Dust doesn't infiltrate seals. Wind noise doesn't develop as panels shift. After 10 years, most cars develop that distinctive aged sound, a symphony of creaks and rattles. Tesla engineered the Model 2 to stay mechanically silent because nothing is shifting, nothing is loosening, nothing is wearing at an accelerated rate. What really separates this is Tesla's SPC 2.0, their statistical process control system. Instead of inspecting finished vehicles and discovering problems after the fact, this monitors the entire manufacturing process for pattern deviations. Temperature fluctuations, vibration signatures, torque consistency across thousands of fastening operations. The system doesn't just catch errors, it predicts them before they manifest. Internal testing showed a 70% reduction in post-production issues. Problems that would normally surface months or years into ownership simply never occur because the conditions creating them were identified and corrected during assembly. This raises an uncomfortable question. If this technology exists and demonstrably works, what does it say about manufacturers still using conventional quality control? Is it a technology gap? Or has the traditional model actually benefited from expected failures that drive service revenue? Dealership service departments represent substantial profit centers. Parts replacement drives aftermarket revenue. A car engineered not to need these services disrupts more than just the vehicle market. Every Model 2 also undergoes extreme stress testing before delivery. Complete diagnostics on high-voltage systems comprehensive sensor validation, full electronic checks. Then comes two complete cycles in a JIS standard rain chamber where intense water jets blast every seal, every joint. The standard is unforgiving. A single drop inside means automatic rejection and complete rework. This prevents the slow infiltration that leads to mold, corrosion, and electrical failures years down the road. Now we need to talk about the battery. 
because this is where the 2 million mile claim either stands or falls. Tesla moved to aluminum ion chemistry capable of 8,000 to 10,000 complete charge cycles. Your smartphone battery degrades after 500 cycles. Current EVs manage 1,500 to 2,000 cycles before significant capacity loss. The jump to 10,000 cycles isn't iterative improvement. It's entering an entirely different performance category. The fundamental difference lies in the chemistry itself. Lithium-ion batteries suffer from progressive internal degradation, physical expansion, micro-fracture development. Aluminum ion operates with substantially more stable ion flow, dramatically reducing internal stress. Tesla developed a three-layer anode structure that distributes electrical load during charging rather than concentrating stress on a single surface. In practical terms, this eliminates the primary concern with fast charging. You can fast charge repeatedly without progressively damaging the battery's structure. The thermal performance is equally significant. This battery maintains stable operation from negative 30 degrees Celsius to over 50 degrees. Conventional lithium batteries experience catastrophic performance loss in severe cold, often dropping 40% of effective range. Hot climates accelerate degradation. The aluminum ion chemistry essentially doesn't register these extremes as operational constraints, but there's a safety implication being overlooked. Aluminum ion virtually eliminates thermal runaway risk. The chain reaction causing battery fires in lithium systems doesn't occur with this chemistry. In failure scenarios, you get localized heat without propagation. That's the difference between a manageable malfunction and a vehicle-destroying catastrophe. Here's where Tesla's approach gets truly radical. They're using a 50,000-ton gigapress to cast nearly the entire underbody as a single piece. Conventional chassis construction requires 300 to 400 separate components joined by welds. Each weld represents a potential failure point. The Model 2 reduces this to 12 joining points total. It's fundamentally a different structural philosophy. The resulting torsional rigidity measures 70,000 newton meters per degree of twist, 230% higher than the Model Y. In real-world driving, this means the vehicle body doesn't flex over uneven surfaces. That rigidity prevents the cascade of secondary failures that plague aging vehicles. Doors stay aligned because the frame isn't twisting. Panels don't crack because there's no structural movement. Dashboard components don't develop rattles because the mounting surface remains stable. Tesla then applies Jigalv Ultra Coating, an anti-corrosion treatment rated for three decades. For regions using road salt during winter, this addresses one of the most insidious failure modes. Chassis corrosion happens invisibly until structural integrity is compromised. The Model 2's coating essentially eliminates that degradation pathway. What's fascinating is how Tesla approached components that typically signal a car's age. Suspension bushings normally use rubber that hardens and cracks, creating that characteristic creaking. Tesla developed an elasto-composite material rated for 800,000 miles. Wheel bearings use hybrid ceramic balls with heat-resistant lubrication, lasting 300,000 to 500,000 miles. Door hinges utilize specialized anti-loosening alloy tested beyond 300,000 operation cycles. Most vehicle owners don't trade in cars because of catastrophic failure. They replace vehicles when accumulated minor issues make the car feel old. A door that doesn't close right, a seat that creaks, suspension that sounds loose. Tesla identified every component exhibiting these degradation patterns and re-engineered them to outlast the vehicle's economic life. 
Now let me offer some analysis on what's actually happening strategically. Tesla isn't simply building an affordable EV. They're attacking the economic model of automotive ownership. Traditional manufacturers derive substantial revenue from parts and service. Dealerships depend on maintenance income. The global automotive aftermarket represents over $400 billion annually. But this entire ecosystem assumes vehicles require ongoing service intervention. What happens when that assumption breaks down? This could be the most radically pro-consumer move in automotive history. Or it reveals Tesla's bet that total cost of ownership matters more than purchase price. A $13,500 vehicle lasting 20 plus years with minimal maintenance versus a $25,000 vehicle requiring regular service and eventual major repairs. The lifetime cost equation shifts dramatically. If Tesla executes this successfully, they're not competing with other EVs, they're making the entire used car market economically irrelevant. However, we need perspective. Can Tesla manufacture this at volume while maintaining these standards? Will real-world performance match laboratory specifications over decades? What happens when something fails outside warranty with components this specialized? The gap between engineering promises and long-term execution is where most revolutionary products stumble. But even if only 70% of these specifications hold up in practice, we're witnessing something historically significant. This isn't incremental improvement. It's a fundamental reconceptualization of what automotive manufacturing should prioritize. Whether you're a Tesla supporter or skeptic, that shift deserves serious attention because it will force industry-wide responses regardless of this specific vehicle's success. Here's the bottom line. We asked, what happens when cars don't need repairs? Tesla's $13,500 Model 2 with 2 million mile capability just answered that. It's ending the traditional service model. That $400 billion parts industry depends on cars breaking down. Tesla engineered that failure out of the equation. If they can build this durably at this price, longevity was always achievable. Other manufacturers chose recurring revenue over customer value. The Model 2 forces that reality into the open. Within three years, expect this durability standard to reshape the entire industry. Traditional automakers will either match it or explain why their cars wear out faster. What's your take? Does this push transportation forward or does it threaten too many established revenue streams to succeed at scale? Drop your honest analysis in the comments. If this breakdown delivered value, hit that like button. Subscribe to Tech Revolution for engineering-focused analysis on transportation technology without the hype. Turn on notifications, because the next few years will completely redefine vehicle ownership expectations. The question isn't whether cars can last forever. It's whether we'll accept anything less.